lining up. They approach the tapes with a bit of a rush. Shamlin 1965 chaser underway. Certainly going to be no hanging around based on the way the leaders attack the first. Monet's Garden, a little bit slow in the air, is joined by Guanaco and Alberta's run with Schindler's Hunt. Boy Purustead is content to let the early flurry develop in front of him as they reach the second, at which he was careful. Was joined on the inside by Planet of Sound, then Panjo Bear and Medicinal, so the grey. Monet's Garden on towards the first of the ditches, jumping boldly from Alberta's run. A mistake by Boy Purustead is. He dragged his back legs through the ditch, and that certainly was uh, quite an energy sapping error, though he continues on perfectly okay. Monet's Garden out jumped by Alberta's run as they take the next. Guanaco in third. In fourth place, Schindler's Hunt. Boy Purustead is on the outside of Planet of Sound. Panjo Bear. And at the uh, rear of the field is the complete outsider, Medicinal. So Monet's Garden leads the turn back towards fence number five with Alberta's Run, who's racing with plenty of zest at this stage. Schindler's Hunt on the inside of Guanaco. Boy Purustead is on the outer. Right up the rails goes Planet of Sound as they reach the next fence, again at which Boy Purustead is, was into the bottom of it. And for a horse with his experience, his jumping has been far from fluent early on. Panjo Bear and Medicinal at the rear of the field. So Monet's Garden and Alberta's Run lead towards the next. Good leap by Alberta's run. Much better leap back in the field by Boy Purustead is there. So the order as they pass is Monet Gardens in the black and white colours. Leads from Alberta's run. Schindler's Hunt in red and white. Guanaco the red sleeves. Up the inside goes Planet of Sound. Boy Purustead is the mauve and pink checks white sleeves. And Panjo Bear in the green and yellow. And Medicinal is just finding this a bit hot. He is off the back end by about eight to ten lengths. But the other seven are tightly grouped as they head out on their final circuit for the Amlin 1965 chase with Monet's Garden leading by about a length or so. From in second, Alberta's run. Schindler's Hunt in third. Guanaco, Planet of Sound. Boy Purustedes towards the outside. And again was into the bottom of it, Boy Purustedes. As Panjo Bear completes that leading group, Medicinal is still eight lengths off the back. Another plain one, Monet's Garden. Attacking that fence, just jumping out to the left slightly. Now, Berta's run has gone with a lot of zest this afternoon. He's now right alongside and possibly poking his nose in front. Then Guanaco, Boy Purustead is kept wide. Schindler's Hunt, by contrast, amongst horses and Planet of Sound going right up the inside rail as they approach another open ditch, at which Planet of Sound makes a very bad mistake. His rider was right at the back end of the buckle there, and he continues on, but that was a serious error by Planet of Sound as Alberta's run and Monet's Garden reached the last down the far side. Guanaco's rider pitched forward in the saddle. Schindler's Hunt and Boy Purustead is a fourth and fifth. A gap open to Planet of Sound after that error and Panjo Bear. They are currently about three and four lengths behind the front five. And uh, looking back, completely tailed off now is Medicinal. So Alberta's run on the outside of Monet's Garden. Guanaco is niggled. Boy Purustead is travelling better. Then Schindler's Hunt, Panjo Bear and Planet of Sound after that error, given time to recover. Alberta's Alberta's run on the outside of Monet's Garden, Guanaco, and Boy Peru steadies. Again, he's slow, and this time he's going to receive a reminder for his pains. Panjo Bear getting involved, Schindler's Hunt niggled, Planet of Sound trying to work his way back in. Alberta's run is over the next. From in second place, Guanaco. Panjo Bear, a mistake by Schindler's Hunt, sees him pushed along. Boy Peru steadies, Planet of Sound trying to work back into it. Alberta's run leads Guanaco. Boy Peru steadies, been under pressure for a while, but he's sticking to his task on the outside of Panjo bear who runs a mighty race planet of sound given time to recover is recovering and is now back on the heels of the leaders but it's alberta's run who leads the turn for home from guanaco panjo bear schindler's hunt boy peru steadies and planet of sound two lengths would cover the front six monet's garden is the one that really has a crack as they turn in alberta's run gone with plenty of zest right from the word go still leads from in second panjo bear guanaco planet of sound boy peru steadies and schindler's hunt a lot of chances but Alberta's run still leads. It's two lengths clear. Uh, Guanaco makes a mistake. Blunders and unseats the rider. Planet of Sound moves through into second. Then Panjo Bear and Schindler's Hunt down towards the last. Alberta's run is three to four lengths clear. Planet of Sound in second. Boy Peru Steadies continues to stay on in third at the last. Alberta's run is over. From in second place, Planet of Sound. Boy Peru Steadies is trying to rally to the cause. But Alberta's run, who had such a lean time last year, is back with a vengeance. And we're round off a truly great hour of national hunt racing up and down the country by winning the Amlin 1965 chase. Planet of Sound in second did well after that error. Boy Peru Stedis was third. Schindler's Hunt, Panjo Bear, Monet's Garden and Medicinal.